people hello everyone it's your girl jail beauty 87 here AK grace and today we are going to get into five affordable makeup brands and the best and worst of the palettes from those brands so a couple of the brands i have a couple of my favorite palettes and then i may have like one bad palette from the brand and i will point those out one of the brands in particular though like i want to start off with because i know they have a palette that came back in stock and one of y'all was telling me that you missed out on it and you were hoping to get it so i'm hoping this video goes up by the time you um but before the palette runs out so i guess we should start with that brand and we'll work our way down but i feel like there's no surprise um, the BH Cosmetics was going to be in it because it's one of the affordable um, and drugstore brands that people really seem to love right now. They've stepped up their game and really done a great job. So I'm going to talk about the BH Cosmetics Naughty Palette. I know somebody in my description, I mean not description box, in one of my comment sections said that they wanted to get it and then it went out of sale. Well, sis is back. Uh, my girl, shout out to, as usual, Beauty Deals BFF found it on their website for 50% off on clearance. And then you might be able to use Trend Moods code and get an extra 10% off. I don't know. Let me open it up so you can see what it looks like on the inside. This originally was supposed to go in a giveaway, but I th if I remember correctly, like nobody responded to my um, DMs when I DM'd them about the giveaway. So that's how I ended up just keeping it because, you know, I had bought it for giveaway, but people didn't want to cooperate and people didn't want to DM me back. Like one girl I DM'd, she's like, I didn't enter any giveaway. I'm like, sometimes when people just like a picture and they don't like read what the description is, like they. I don't know, she had like I was trying to scam her or something, so I was like, okay, find me, I'll just keep the damn palette, you know. It's not like I don't have 50 million of them, but this is what it looks like on the inside. Um, I think the quality of this is actually quite good. The only thing I'll say is like, this shade right here truly disappointed me because it's more of a topper-esque thing, and I was hoping it was like going to be like a true metallic -y shimmer. So it disappointed me in that retrospect, but otherwise, I think it's a really great palette. The mattes are really nice in here. All the shimmers that actually are shimmers in here perform pretty nicely, and... It is 50% off and it is back, so that's why I made sure I put it in here. Because otherwise, I'd have probably put the ice cream collection in here. Um, what is it? The Sweet Shop. These. These are also a really nice formula from them as well. Um, I have four of the six. Y'all know I wouldn't get an orange, but I hate orange. And then I wasn't going to get the neutral one because, I mean... We got on color right now, and it's rare. If ever y'all see me do neutrals, I made an exception for Patrick. That's because I want to try his formula. But as a general, I don't do that. Um, so here is the cherry on top. They don't. The only one they still have in stock, believe it or not, is the um, bubble gum one, which I don't understand because like blue is everything. Blue is wonderful. Why? Why wouldn't you want that palette? I don't know. This is cotton candy. It's amazing. My personal favorite, which is the bubblegum one, which is why I'm confused why nobody wants it. Like, look at the range of blues in here. It's magnificent. It just looks gorgeous. If I could own all the blue palettes. I want to do a series on all my monochromatic palettes and then, like, rank all my monochromatic palettes. So, I think I'm going to do that. I'll probably do that um, the weekend after next because I got, like, three different orders of brand new stuff coming in. And y'all like brand new stuff. So, I'm like, we'll save that for a week when I don't have any products coming in. The last one I have is the pistachio palette. Um... And this is what it looks like. I think this is the one that always sells out the quickest, the green one, which I don't understand because this is actually my least favorite one. And we know I love greens, but I don't know. I don't know if it's the tones of these greens or what because the shimmery greens look fine to me. It's just the tones of the matte ones I don't like that much. Like, I only like these two and the rest of, like, this side I could go without. Like, I could literally just have a quad with these and be fine because this side does nothing. Sorry, this side does nothing for me. I don't know, but that's my least favorite one out of all this thing. And I thought it was going to be the red that was my least favorite because I don't really like reds. But mm. um, so, so my least favorite BH Cosmetics palette, and this is just color story because it's not like the formula on this is bad. It's just the color story is not what it is at all. Like I'm not here for it. It's not a vibe. I don't like it at all. And it was 50% off, which is the only reason I ended up with it in the first place. And I think I might want to put it in the giveaway too because it's not like the formula is bad or like I said. I just didn't like the color story. But when we get to... Um, what is it, uh, 500, that's when we'll be doing the giveaway, and I think this palette is in there, I'm gonna have to double check that box, it's been a while since I looked, but this is what it looks like on the inside, it just reminds me of an affordable version of the Riviera palette from ABH, because that's what I think of, if you all remember, I put this in a main chick, side chick saying I felt like it was really comparable to the Riviera palette, now it's not exact, obviously, because it doesn't have that deeper matte purple shade, it has this more lighter purple shade, but... I don't know. The color story of this just does not pull me in at all. And I know Morgan Turner loves this color story. And she was the one who told everybody it was 50% off at all. And I ran to get it for you all. Because the formula is nice. I just was not necessarily a fan of the color story. And if you um, liked the color story of the Riviera palette, you might like this. It's just I'm not a fan of this color story. And 
um, I don't have any other BH palettes that I feel like are bad, so I had to go based upon the color story, not necessarily the formula of the product, because all the formulas are nice in all the palettes I showed you. It's just a color preference thing for me. So the next brand I have to talk about is Cara Beauty. So, um, y'all know what my favorite Cara Beauty palette is. It's this one, The Life of the Fiesta. I told y'all this one has like their best formula out of all the formulas I've tried from them. And I really love the color story of this one the best. The only thing with them is I feel like they repeat a lot of their color stories and it might change like just a tad bit. But it doesn't change like to a huge extent to where I, I need to get the whole collection. Because it's like I was going to get the other two in this collection too just because they look so nice. But I was like they look similar to this palette I just bought from them in the earlier collection. And this palette I bought from them in the earlier collection. So I was like I don't need to get all three of them. So I ended up with just this one. But um, you know this one works for me just fine. Um, I like the color story of it. I love the formula of this. I've made like I think three or four looks with this palette, which is a big deal for me because y'all know I usually only get to make like one, maybe two, unless I do like three looks, one palette in the video. Then I'll get to use it like three or four times and I have to move on to the next thing all the time. So that's why I'm trying to take advantage of Instagram a little bit more so I can have more time to use more things. But yeah, I definitely recommend you get your hands on this palette. And remember, we buy um, Care of Beauty from I Kate House, or if you can find it at your TJ Maxx or Marshalls and get it there. But don't buy it from Care of Beauty's website unless they're having a sale because they sell it at I Kate House for cheaper. Like on their website, I think this is like $23.99 or $25.99 or something. But if you buy this from I Kate House, it's only going to be like $19.99. And they have flat rate shipping for like a dollar and ninety nine cent with the code and then it'd only be like maybe twenty one dollars for you to get it and with care of beauty I'm sure the shipping is more. I don't remember I haven't bought from their website in ages but it is a gorgeous palette and it is a really nice formula. Now the formula I like the least from them and these it's funny because this is the first palette I ever bought from them. This is one of the two they had like a cannabis collection because you know everybody had a cannabis collection like what was it like two years ago or something where everybody just wanted to make all the weed palettes and follow and melt footsteps doesn't work so well for them. But anyway this is the Girl Scout palette. I also have Purple Haze but this is the one that truly disappointed me when it came to the blending and I know y'all probably shocked because it's like it's a blue green palette and you know that's just what my dreams are made of. But I found the shimmers in here were really difficult to use like this one right here oh my god y'all it was so impossible to use it was horrible to use then they keep putting all these plus glitters in here which is another thing i don't like because it's like three plus glitters in here you could have easily gave me like three shimmers or just gave me two shimmers and like one of the plus glitters to um use but the fact that there's three plus glitters in here and then like these blues were really difficult to work with in my personal opinion which is what knocked this palette down so low because the purple one was easier to work with than this one was but as you can see, the color story is just gorgeous. I found out about this brand from um, Lily Living Life and Colorful Camille, aka KK here on YouTube. So shout out to them because otherwise I would not know this brand existed at all. But when I saw KK with this palette, I was like, uh, yes, please. What brand is this again? I immediately went to their website and started following them on Instagram because I was just like, yes, I need it. The next brand we have to talk about is one you saw recently in my videos. So, it is LA Girl. So, I have two LA Girl palettes, and these are actually two of my most watched LA Girl videos, which I'm shocked about because I didn't think y'all really care about me reviewing LA Girl, but I feel like maybe a lot of brown content creators aren't reviewing LA Girl, and that's why people come to my channel to see it. But the first one I have is the LA Girl Main Stage Backstage palette. So, if y'all didn't know, on the back of the barcode right here, it tells you the name of whatever the palette is is from LA Girl so when you buy your LA Girl palette it's not whatever this name is right here that's the name of the collection and then you turn around and look at this barcode and that'll tell you what the name of the actual palette is because I know some YouTubers call it whatever the name is on the front it's like no yeah look at the barcode says I know it's really random and weird that they placed it there but that's what they put it so you, you just look for it there um so this is the inside the only thing I'll say is with their shimmers they like break easy like this one right here broke and I had to press it back into the pan but I mean are we really surprised this is in here it's greens blues purples and then it gives me like a random roll of pink when I want to be romantic and I can mix the pink with the purple and I can mix my blues with my greens like I love to do so yeah this was gonna be in here it's like the best palette from LA Girl just automatically however I do have another one that I like just as nice for more of like summery um fiery type looks this is just, this to me, this is just an everyday palette that I would wear whenever I feel like using my blues, my greens, my purples, or my pinks. So, I love this for that. This palette was just like made for me. And the fact that it's affordable, honey. When I first bought this, it was like, I think $11. And then you can use the three off, um, $3.50 off um, $15. So, I really just got this at a steal. Because I think I paid like $10 for this palette. And it's normally $15.99. 
and then I bought the matching one to it, but I wasn't as big a fan of it because of its color story. Like the color story of that one, it just spoke to my heart and soul, and y'all know I had to have it. The next one I have is the Hey Hey Vacay Good Times and Tan Lines palette. So this is what it looks like on the inside. And the video that you all are watching today here on June the 20th is of comparing this palette to the Zendo palette. Since everybody keeps talking about how similar it is to the Zendo palette, I let you all see in depth the color difference between this and Zendo so that way you can make a better decision. Especially if you're of my skin tone because people be like, oh, it looks similar and blah, blah, blah. Like it's cute to say that, but I put them to the test so you can see how it actually is as far as formulas and colors go. I actually prefer this one a little bit more just because since the summertime, I do want more bright of a color story. So that's why I like to this one a little bit more. Mine's keep trying to pop out like I had one pop out once, like the purple one from the um, Breaking Free collection they came out with. Like this whole little section literally popped out and I had to pop it back in. So just keep that in mind too. But I mean it's a $15 palette set. So it's like I guess you just pop it back in and go on with your day. I don't know. Um, but I got this one from Ulta too. I like actually went to the store and got these so that way I could give y'all a video in a timely fashion. But I really like this one as well for summer. Y'all know I got my... Um, Nice little blue and red combination I can do. And then when I want to do a neutral smoky eye and I um, don't have that much time, I can use this bottom row. As in the thumbnail picture, you'll see I have this one on and then I have the Zendo one on. But this is a gorgeous palette and I definitely recommend that you get your hands on it if you can, girl. Because LA Girl is out here making um, moves and waves and they were actually in my five brands. I never thought I'd be checking for a video that I did with my girl here on YouTube, Dr. Ash and her makeup. So you should definitely check out some LA Girl palettes because they are where it's at for an affordable price point with great color stories and amazing shimmer shades. Now let's get into the palette I didn't like the most. And it's from the same collection I just showed you, the Hey Hey Vacay collection. And this is under the palms. Now again, there's nothing wrong with the formulas palette. But when you see the color story, you understand why it's not exciting to me. Now it has the little pops of green, which is cute or whatever, but it's like, I don't like orange eyeshadow. And to me, this is a really neutrally based palette and they just gave me some pops of green so it's like you can do a cute little orange look or you can do a cute little green look and pop like the orange in the inner corner or something which i might do for you all on instagram but i mean as far as the color story goes this is definitely not my aesthetic by any means which is why i got put in here so again this is one where it's like it's not anything to do with the formula of the product itself it's just more of the color story it's just not where it's at for me like, I don't like orange eyeshadow. We know I don't like neutrals. And that's what the majority of this palette is. So it's like, if it's only two, three pops of green, it's not really going to be as appealing to me as the other one was. Because, and plus, this is really similar to the Pro Artistry palette. And I like that one better because it has pops of blue and green in it. And then it has just like a little bit of orange and a little bit of neutral. So this one just didn't do it for me. Matter of fact, let me show you all so you can see the difference. And the Pro Artistry one you can buy at um, CVS. So, when I open it, you'll see what I'm talking about. Like, see how similar they look? You got your oranges, you got your greens, and you got your neutrals in this one. Whereas you got your blues, greens, oranges, and neutrals. So, it's like I prefer them because at least I still get my pop of blue. Whereas with this one, it's just like a whole bunch of boring oranges. And then there's a, um, a little pop of green that's supposed to keep me a little bit excited, but it doesn't really do too much of anything. So, there's that. Sometimes they're like limited edition. But I think that's just like limited edition at um, Ulta and um, you can buy it from their website year round. Because I saw some palettes that came out last year that's still on their website from their last year collection. So I guess if they do well, they'll keep them on their website and you have to buy them there. But you won't be able to get them at Ulta anymore with like the coupon codes and all the type of deals. So if you want to get it when it first comes out, go snag it at Ulta and give you the three fifty off so you can get the palette for like 10 bucks. Okay, so... Um, I, next brand I have is Juvia's Place because we all know Juvia's Place is very affordable. Now, unfortunately, my favorite palette from Juvia's Place has been discontinued. Um, I do have a backup favorite palette though. It's the Wahala 2 palette that they came out with after the first one. But my limited edition one is the only one I brought with me, so I have to show you that one. Um, so this is the Tribe palette. This is by far one of my all-time favorite Juvia's Place palettes. Like, look at this color story. Like, it's got everything. It's got, uh -huh whole world of blues and greens then it gives you this cool like um almost greenish um yellowish mustard type brown shade in here which i thought was super cool sorry it's really reflective i'm trying to find an angle where it's not bouncing off my lights 
Okay, Leah, let's just leave right there. You don't have to see my face. You're used to see my face. But yeah, I really like the color story of this overall. Y'all know I don't usually don't mess with oranges, but it's like I feel like I can go down this row. Nigga, I look and look like Perry the Platypus. I feel like you go down this row when you want more of a like smoky, sparkly, greenish, bluish tones. And then when you want like fun, colorful, tropical greens and oranges, you can go down that row. So it's like this way turned, you can use each row as an eye look. Or when you turn it this way, you can use each row as an eye look. I feel like all around you can use each row as an eye look and get like a really nice eye look out of it. So I pop this like in the inner corner and then like you can dust this in your crease on your outer V. And then put this shimmery shade on the lid and have a look. I mean, it's just a whole bunch of different ways you can use this palette. I don't know why the hell they ever want to get rid of this palette. But I mean, like I guess people don't have a love of green the way I have a love of green. So I'm assuming that's why this one didn't do that well. But it is like one of my all-time favorite Juvia Place palettes. Now, the one I don't like is, like, the sister to the one I said would be my backup of palettes that is my favorite that you can currently buy now. This is the original Wahala palette. I did not like this when it first came out. I'm still not really a big fan of this one. I mean, I understand how it works. You just go down the rows and make an eye look with each row, which I definitely appreciate because it does have be put in a lot of work. My problem with this palette is all the pressed glitters in it now the new one does have plus glitters in it as well but i feel like i get more shades now i notice the shades are smaller in that one but i just like the overall color story of that one more and that's what it comes down to again when it comes to this brand because there's nothing wrong with the form of this one i just don't like the color story of this palette like i don't like this row and we know um i'm not really loving the pressed glitters and then like a lot of these shades in here they're not their typical shimmers like i feel like some of them are topper shades which i wasn't a fan of i don't have a problem with topper shades it's just i prefer to have more shimmers than topper shades like i can buy topper shades from um indie brands if i want to or you know like buy some single shadows or something like i just i don't know i'm not really huge on the top of shade i just rather have like dual chromes and multi chromes this one right here is a dual chrome that i really like but i don't know overall i just was not super excited about this palette and i didn't like it i ended up getting it just because i didn't know what hollow 2 was coming out if i knew what hollow 2 was coming out i wouldn't have bought that one at all i would have just waited but i mean since i have a channel it's good for reference purposes for me so that's mainly what i'm going to use it for because i don't actually plan on like using it that often on or at all really on my eyes but since we have it you know it's fine um last brand i have to talk about you can't do a video without ColourPop. like for affordable and drugstore makeup, I feel like it's just like a requirement that ColourPop should be in this video. So, since ColourPop comes out with 5,333 collections every, like, three days, um, I have two palettes to talk about that I actually did like that are from somewhat recent collections. Since, you know, they already going to sneak peep some palette at, um, what is it, Alta that's supposed to be coming out exclusively with them and then they already had the Hello Kitty collection come out while I'm talking about this and then I'm sure something else is going to pop up on Trend Move today and you know whatever but I have the What Dreams Are Made Of palette from the Lizzie McGuire collection I actually really love this color story it reminds me of an indie brand's color story that I showed you all it's called um I think it's called Neon something Neon Drip from Poppy Cosmetics. I feel like this is like a watered down, like lighter version of that. But I really like this color story and I actually like the look I came out with. And I feel like it performs quite well. So I definitely had to put this in here because it's just such a fun color story. And I feel like they've been giving me a lot of nostalgic collections recently. But I really appreciate like them and Hip Dot with the Clueless Collection. Honey, I was here for it. I was living for it. I made a whole appreciation post about it on my Instagram. That's how much I was happy and excited about it and appreciated it. Okay? Thank you. <laughs> but next one I have to talk about, I feel like it should be no surprise either. This is the ColourPop and Malibu Barbie collection. So, this is what she looks like on the inner side. Now, um, this one I love. Now, I bought this more for nostalgic reasons, and this is, like, rare that I buy whole collections. But I literally bought this whole collection just because I was like, uh, yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Um, I really like the look I came out with in my video. Um, I'll try to remember to link it up above because this is, like, one of my all-time favorite ColourPop collections and one of my all-time favorite ColourPop palettes to play with as far as collabs go from them. I just think it's such a fun and nice summer palette. I can use just about every shade in here. The yellow I did have to put in a lot of work with, but... Because I have melanin, I always expect to have to put in work when it comes to yellow shades in general. So it, it's a great palette overall, and I uh, definitely think you should try out um, both of these. I could have went on and on with ColourPop palettes because the Limoncello palette is really nice that they came out with recently too. And then all the little um, Haunt Heat, what was that called? The Haunt 
collection that they came out with. I liked all of those palettes, but you know, I was like, we'll just stick to two since we did two with um, with the LA Girl. But the palette I did not like is when they first came out with these little five pans. Oh my god, this palette is terrible. First of all, like majority shades, and I don't even want to use because it's like. Um, this sequin shade I don't like and then there's this glitter in here that I don't like so the this one was horrible Matter of fact, I was just talking to one of my co-workers about this yesterday because she's talking about how she didn't like these either She but she bought the ones from the Valentine's Day collection that they came out with I bought them when they initially launched you all know I had this one and then I had the ballot one I think those are the only two I bought and I didn't like the ballot one and I don't like this one either and since um, after I do my swatch comparison of this to the fine feathered palette I'm going to go ahead and declutter it just because I do not like it that much. Like, the new ones are way better. Like, that um, was the Haunt collection that I bought. I'll try to remember the link above as well. It is way better quality than this is. Only thing with those shimmers are really soft. and then the But the mattes are quite pigmented and they should be for, like, the color payoff you need. So, don't get the original ones they first came out with or the Valentine's Day ones. But the ones after that... In my personal opinion, are really nice, but yeah, I, I absolutely hate this palette. It's horrible. Okay, so those are my um, five uh, affordable brand, sorry, affordable drugstore brand palettes that I like based upon, well, brand. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember y'all are diamonds. Oh, I forgot to say in the beginning. So, I have um, the Colored Rain Vivid, what is Vivid? pigments and shadows palette on the eyes for the purple matte that's in my crease and then lighter purple matte that's dusted over my crease the shimmers on my lid are um the breaking the rules palette from it's veil cosmetics alongside the alien cosmetics palette because i put the matte pink in my inner corner and i put like the strawberry shake shade on top of the it's veil cosmetics shade i had because i wasn't sure if it was going to be more of that um topper shades that they have or it was more of a satin it was more of a satin but it's okay because i like the way it turned out and then um on my lips we have proper beauties moxie this was my favorite color from their new collection because y'all know i love me a pink mauvey moment so we're showing you the pink mauvey moment with the nice pink and purplish eye look but anyway i hope you all enjoyed this video remember you all are diamonds i'll catch you guys in the next one be blessed bye <laughs>